a wood when it is gone. In sort of folk feeling, it's a sacred thing, a wood. If you go back to the um, Native American Indians, they felt nature was sacred. And yet, over the years, through to the Protestant um, Reformation, um, the earth has become a resource rather than a sacred thing. And that's fair enough. Um, now what happened with this wood was there was a big wind and a lot of the trees blow, blew over. You can see the ones where the stumps are up and uh, quite a lot blew over. So they decided obviously that it's time to clear the whole lot. There's some old stags there, the old, um, what they call them in America, I think they call them stags don't they? The uh, dead, dead trees that they leave. They're rather nice aren't they? Those white dead trees. And then this, this avenue here of oaks is, um, has been left, spindly oaks. They say that a big tree stands alone, you know, that they're in relation to a person. So you get someone with a big personality and no one can sort of stand by them, you know, that a big tree stands alone. If you've got a big personality, strong views, be prepared to stand alone. If you're, if you're prepared to sort of melt in with people and compromise, then you're more likely to have friends. Um, I rather like that phrase, a big tree stands alone. Look, they've left another spindly oak there. Will that, will that um, little tree turn into a big tree? I heard a phrase the other day about how a, a hyena may jump on the grave of a lion but it will never become a lion. <laughs> and someone said to me, John, you'll never become a lion. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, well, this is, this is uh, nice. I like this. And what, what, all possibilities are here, aren't they? What could they turn it into? Another wood? Or perhaps um, an agricultural field? I'd better get out of the field. Okay.